Yeah. Hey, what's going on guys? It's JC from Most Move Bex. And as you've probably guessed it, today we're going through M-Style Old Money for the Winter Resolve. Let's dive into it. So once you've installed the pack via the M installer, you'll want to head over to the effects tab and search for M style old money. And here is where you're going to find 17 titles, eight effects and five transitions, where you'll either drag the titles onto the timeline or the effects and transitions directly onto the clips. I always recommend when you first get a new motion for the effects pack, just hovering over all the different titles and effects so you can really start to get a feel for what this pack has to offer. This one in particular is great for adding in sophisticated elements and effects to highlight luxury, allowing you to turn your videos into instant classics. So we'll get started in the titles tab, kicking things off with some of the typography titles. So if we use title four to go through, you can see this is how it looks by default. But to start dialing the look that we want, we'll head into the inspector tab. So first things first, if you're working on a 4K timeline, you'll want to hit this checkbox that ensures the quality and the sizing is correct for your title. Then we head to the top where we have these in and out points. These control the animation when the layer starts and ends. And then we'll head into the content controls. And this is the overarching control center where you'll need to play how the entire graphic looks. So we have the positioning, we have the scale, and we have the rotation. And then to snap back any of these options to default, you can just double click the title and it goes back. At this point is when the tabs and the titles will begin to differ depending on which one you're using. So these three tabs with the header, the title, and the subtitle all work in the exact same way as your standard titles when it comes to modification. You can adjust the text, the fonts, the colors, scale tracking, spacing, positioning, all of this can be controlled just like your usual title. And then if you do want to toggle this title off, if you don't want the third one, you can just hit that button there. Same thing for the title and the same thing for the header. But where this pack is really interesting is this brand new feature in the texture controls. Now, when I toggle this on, you're not going to see too much. And that's because the color of our text is white. However, if we were to change the color of the text, we're going to start to see the effect a lot more. So if we go to more of like a gold color, you can start to see this texture within the text. Now, there's four different options that we can choose from. We have the alabaster, the felt, the gold, and finishing on the marble. And these are just subtle ways to add that extra bit of detail within your titles. And once you've chosen your texture, you can play around with these dials so you can really get the look that you're going for. And what I would do in this situation, as I only want the texture in the middle text, I would actually duplicate this layer, turn off the title that I want the texture to be shown on, and then back on the previous title, I would then turn off the ones that I don't want the texture to be shown on. And now we have a finished result. And the last tab we have here are the drop shadow controls. And this will just help your text stand out when it's against a bright background. And that is pretty much a typography in a nutshell, which yes, it really is that easy to get super effective results. Then touching over the other elements inside the title section, we have this cool outline add-on, which is an easy way to highlight something in the frame, just like this boat. So dragging this on, you can see by default, it draws this rectangle. Now, if we want to modify that, I'll just turn the 4K box on, then go into the outline controls. And since we don't need it to be anywhere near so wide, I'll just decrease that width, maybe the height as well and then potentially just round the corners. So rounding the corners all the way and decreasing the width enough actually creates a circle compared to the rectangle that we had at first. I think I will keep that rectangle look though, so I will just unround some of these corners. And then again, we do have the texture controls just like before. This won't be as visible because the line is so thin, but if we were to increase the thickness, we're then gonna start to see that texture in the outline. So that looks pretty good to me. Maybe decrease the thickness slightly. And then something else I could do here is actually crop in on the sides. So now that I just have the selection within the outline, I'll then put this up one layer and then add the background texture. So just adjusting this and making it the full size of the background, I could then make the boat scene a compound clip. We'll call this boat. Decrease that size, move it over to the right, and then add a cool title. So let's put this old money logo or we'll make it 4K, slide it across the left. And just like I mentioned earlier, how depending on the title you're using, you will have different tabs. So on this one, after the content controls, we now have the logo controls. And that's where if you wanted to, you can insert an image on your machine. You just hit browse, find where that logo is saved, and then you can make the adjustments from there. So I'll just decrease the size of that, move that up. Now we have motion view effects of boat tours. And that's just one example of the creative ways to be able to use these different titles. 
And now we'll get into the effects where we have two different sections, the overlays and the split screens. The overlays provide you with really cool looks that allow you to drag and drop, saving you time from having to do any color grading. You can add this cool glow effect, or my personal favorite is this Imperial Grandeur. It just gives your footage that luxury look. Now, depending on the footage you're using, some of the overlay effects might not look as good straight away. Like for this one, for example, this Emerald Patina kind of makes this a bit too red. So what we can do is actually come over to the Inspector tab and just play around here. So I can slide this around to where I'd want it. We can see on the outside, there's loads of greenery, so I'll reflect that with this color. But these overlays make it effortless to be able to get these really vintage, cool luxury looks. One thing to remember is that if you don't want the effect to transition in like this, make sure you turn off these animation points. That way, as soon as the layer starts and the layer ends, the effect will be there the entire time. Then we have the split screens, which I guess you could say are the most difficult part of the pack, but I promise you they aren't that hard. So if I drag the split screen onto the clip, we're going to see it's duplicated. And that is not how the effect is intended to work. But looking into the inspector tab, we can see this effect is built for a fusion clip with two sources. So that just means we need two pieces of footage inside one fusion clip for this effect to work perfectly. So I'll go ahead and delete this effect. I'll add in my second clip. Now what you want to do is highlight both of these clips, right click and hit new fusion clip. This will put them together in one clip, but rest assured we can still access them if you do want to make any adjustments. But now when we drag our split screen effect, we're going to see we perfectly have that half and half. Then in the inspector tab, we have loads of options to customize this look. So we can change the split screen to being vertical. We can flip the side the clips are on. As you can see on this layer starts, the animation comes in from the left. We can change it to go from the right. We can choose how much of the split screen we want to use. And of course, we have the ability to customize the position, scale and rotation of each of the clips. For this, I would recommend dragging on the actual numbers as opposed to the dial wheel as it is a little bit sensitive. And just like I mentioned earlier of still having access to the clips, if you maybe wanted to add an overlay effect or a title within one of these, you can just right click, open in timeline, and now we have access to both the clips. So I'll add a glow effect to the woman sitting down drinking champagne, and then I'll add the Chateau Chic effect to the champagne pouring. Now going back to this timeline, maybe throwing in a title, put some initials on top, and there we have a finished result. And to finish off, we have the transitions. These are super easy to use where you'll drag and drop the transitions between the clips and adjust the length of it by dragging this box here. The transition will automatically adjust to the length of time. And just like everything else in this video, you can fine tune and adjust the look of these inside the inspector tab until you get your desired result. So I hope this overview has been helpful for you to better understand how to use the pack. Remember, if you have any questions at all, please drop them down below or head to the website emotionreflex.com. I've been JC, and this has been your M-Style Old Money Overview for DaVinci Resolve.